everybody and welcome to this week's edition of First Impression Fridays. This week I have the Benefit Boing Erase Case. I have said multiple times that Benefit, the Benefit Boing Concealer is my absolute favorite concealer of all time, the Airbrush Concealer. This one is actually four different variations of that same concealer. It came with the Airbrush Concealer, which I already have so I didn't review, the Hydrating Concealer, the Brightening Concealer, and the Industrial Strength Concealer. If you want to see how I got this look, how I used the concealer, because I did use all four of them. If you want to see how I use this concealer or if you want to see what I thought about this product, you can keep on watching. Okay, so first, what probably shouldn't be, but is my favorite part of the First Impression Fridays, is the packaging. So let's talk about this. First of all, the Benefit Erase Case, the Benefit Boing Erase Case, it's a pencil. I mean, that's so cute. I ordered this from Macy's. It was on sale. Um, I can't remember how much it actually costs, but you can look at it down there. And I paid $22 for it. The purchase price and all that is going to be down here at the bottom because I can't remember. But it looks like a pencil. So let's look at the original box. It looks like, like school supplies. You got your little composition books and the little notebook that says benefit boing erase case and then the shade number two is up there in the eraser on the back it says boing multiple choice again so cute like i really like the theme that they carry through of erase case and the theme that they carry through of the school and that kind of that kind of situation it says boing multiple choice um airbrush concealer industrial strength concealer hydrating concealer and brightening concealer so the Boing Concealer is my favorite concealer I think that I've ever used. That's This one is the Airbrush Concealer, which I've had forever. It's the one I use every single Tutorial Tuesday to, con to um, conceal by my eyebrows, and I usually use it on the face too sometimes. It's just, I, I love it. So we're not going to review this, the Airbrush, because I use it all the time, so we don't need to do that one. I will say I did order this so I could have a backup, because when I run out of that Airbrush Concealer, I'm going to lose it. So taking the box off, we have the little pencil case. I, I just think it's so cute that they gave us a case too. We have the little pencil case. You unzip it here. I think I'm going to store all my concealers in this case because it's just such a good little case. Pulling out the little situation here. Case. Put the case down. It came with a little instruction. <laughs> the little instruction thing looks like a notebook too. And then it says correct answers inside. Boing Erase Case, How to Cheat Your Way Out of Any Dilemma. So cute, y'all. Our concealing cheat sheet gives you the correct answer for to your concealer problems. Concealing problems, whether you want to cover up, airbrush, brighten, or hydrate. So it tells you how much coverage for each one of them. So on and so forth, hydrating, brightening, uh, brightening, industrial strength, and airbrush. So again, the airbrush is the one that I already use. So we're not going to worry about the airbrush. We are, however, going to deal with the hydrating. This is the little form that they were in in the pencil, I guess, to help keep the shape. So, oh, I can't open it. I need a cheat sheet on how to open this damn. Ooh. Okay, so, again, the airbrush concealer. This one right here is the one I use all the time. So, I'm just going to put this one back in the little case. We don't really need that one right now. So let's look at the ones they do have, the other ones. We have an industrial strength concealer, this little tiny one right here, industrial strength, which makes me think the size is probably so small because how much industrial strength concealer does one need? Like, I guess that would just be for like my scar or I don't know, a really bad pimple you might have. Oh, wait, let's talk about the product, each product packaging. So each product has the pink top, pink top, silver bottom, very cute. It's got each of the names, except for the benef the um, industrial strength, which just has the silver on the top. Uh, it's clear. It's clear on the top with the silver trim and then silver on the bottom. And then they have what type it is on it, written underneath Boing. So like the Benefit Boing Hydrating Concealer is written here in blue. The Brightening is written in yellow. And then industrial strength is written in black because they mean business, clearly. I think, not like I do with palettes and stuff, because this is different because it's a, it's concealer. I think I'm gonna do like everything in one shot. Like I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna swatch it, and then I'm gonna test it all in one shot because it's just easier. And you're not gonna need all of them for everything. You're not gonna need all of them for every day. So let's look at the industrial strength. This is the big, 
the big mama this is the one that's like really legit it's really creamy to say it's industrial strength it's so creamy like i thought it was going to be like a heart like you got to pack it on i'm swatching it i don't see that much of an industrial strength situation so i'm going to try it on my hardest area which is my scar I'm just going to apply it with my finger because i find with concealer sometimes you know your natural oils will melt it into your skin so we're going to do that I'm just patting it on my finger and then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. But I have to say, it doesn't really look like it's getting rid of my scar. Which I thought, oh, this thing is all, which I thought for sure it would because it's a little lighter than my actual skin tone. So I thought it would just instantly get rid of it. Mm. The industrial strength, I don't know about. Okay, this is the brightening concealer. Let's see. Ooh, that, oh, okay, this I will say, they are so freaking creamy. This is like the creamiest concealers I've ever used in my life. So this is it on my hand. It is right here. Again, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, it's that much of a different color, but man, the texture is amazing. So let's try. I'm going to use my concealer brush for that because it's going under the eye. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like a... um. It's like a highlight. Ooh, it's pretty. Okay, yeah, the the brightening one. I like because the thing is, again, when you look at it in the pan, it's not that different of a color from any of the other ones, but it's so bright on the skin. I don't know what the difference is, but I know that I like it. <laughs> so, again, this is the brightening concealer. Oh, this would be a good cleanup one. I'm kind of obsessed with the brightening. The brightening is like really, like the brightening is better, way better than the um, industrial strength. Like the brightening I really like. It's my blender. Blend it out a little bit. I'm not wetting the beauty blender because really I don't want to spread it that, that much. But dude, wow, the brightening I'm, I'm in love with, the brightening one. Okay, and last but not least was the hydrating concealer, which I don't really know what I'm supposed to do to hydrating concealer, but I'm, I'm gonna find out today, so. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Okay, so when you open the hydrating concealer, it looks like this. So it's got like a balm around it. It, like I said, it reminds me of a lip gloss, a lip balm, and then it's got the concealer in the middle. So I don't know exactly how that works with a concealer, I've never seen anything like that before, but um, we'll find out today. So I'm going to put it, I have a little tiny like mark, you see that little mark right there? I'm gonna put it over that just to see. Okay, it kinda, no, it didn't. I was gonna say it kinda got rid of the mark, but it really didn't. So this one is described as a lightweight concealer, which makes sense, I mean, it's hydrating. What is it, what's it gonna do? Um, it's super duper, uh, it, it's def hydrating is definitely the name for it. It is like so wet feeling. I don't know where to put this, I guess. It smells weird. I'm gonna put it by my nose, I guess. Where I'm usually dry. So I guess wherever your skin is dry, you would put it there. So, mm, do some on my chin. It's really light. I wasn't expecting it to be that light, but I'm, I'm glad it is. I mean, I like it. Put some more on my scar since the industrial strength didn't take care. I like it. This is a revolution. It's, it's, a, it's a really different vibe for a concealer. Like, I've never felt a concealer that conditioning. It almost feels like a moisturizer more than a concealer, but it's good. I like it a lot. And also, probably because it's so hydrating, it is super easy to spread around. Like, it's good. It's really good. Really feeling the hydrating one. And the brightening. The only one I didn't really like was the industrial strength. And that's just because I, I, it just really, to me, didn't do anything, so... I am done with the demo and the swatches and all that other stuff with the concealer. 
So I'm gonna go and get the rest of my look together and I will come back and we will discuss if we're giving it a diamond or not, okay? All right, so uh, my face is all done up. My hair is down. It's huge, but it's down nonetheless. It's tremendous, but I'm trying to do natural. I'm trying to be healthier with this. So anyway, I am going to give you my final review of the Benefit Boing Erase Case. So here's the thing with this one. I like that they give you four different types. I already have the airbrush Boing concealer, so I didn't I didn't review that one because I use it every single time I do a video because I use it for my brows. I actually used it earlier today to chisel out these brows, but I don't need to review it because you already know I'm obsessed with it. So we got, instead of doing the whole case, well, no, I will do the whole case. So first one, we got the Industrial Strength Concealer. I personally, I mean, I didn't hate it. It was a pretty creamy concealer. Um, it did conceal a little bit but I wouldn't consider it industrial strength. I wouldn't even call it full coverage. It didn't, I put it on my scar here. I put a couple layers and you can see, you can still see the scar, still pretty visible. So I wouldn't personally, this one I don't, I don't really see the point of. It's like just another regular concealer. It reminds me more of the airbrush concealer than an industrial strength. It's just not all that to me. The Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. Okay, so I put this one under my eyes and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's almost it's better than a highlighter. Like it's so good. It it doesn't look that bright in the it doesn't look that bright in the container, but when you put it on, it's like it's like it has a light inside of it. It's so brightening for the under eye. And because it is a concealer, not a highlighter, it helps kind of phase out your lines and your bag. So it it's it's really good. I really this concealer is bomb and I, I really like it. I mean, it by itself would warrant me giving the bag a diamond. It's really good. And then last but not least, we have the Benefit Boing Hydrating Concealer. Okay, I had never heard of this before. A hydrating concealer. It's got a hydrant, a hydrating, hydrant, oh, I'll say hydrant, around the concealer itself. So let me, let me dull this a little bit so y'all can see it. See it right there? Yeah. So it's got this moisture layer around it and then the concealer in the middle. I adore this. It, it's so good. It's like, it's super liquidy, but you could tell it's like really hydrating. It's a really lightweight concealer though. Like you certainly don't want to use it anywhere where you have blemishes or anything because it's not going to make that much of a difference. But if you have like a dry spot, like on your, my nose is usually dry, like somewhere right here is usually dry. Right now it's not for some reason, thank God, but usually it's dry right there. This one, uh, this concealer would have gotten rid of that so quickly. So I, I adore this concealer. So the whole entire bag, which I ordered from Macy's on sale, I'll put the prices at the beginning. This whole entire bag, the Benefit Boing Concealer, which looks like a little pencil, is so cute. I definitely give it a diamond because the packaging is just amazing. I love the theme that they use and that they follow through with it the whole way. The concealers themselves are very creamy and each one of the four literally do something different. Are they supposed to do something different? The industrial strength one to me, like I said, it, it wasn't that much different than the airbrush concealer, but the hydrating and the brightening are awesome. Again, this little bag they gave for, for you to try out all four of them really good so please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you next week right here on diamonds and denim first impression fridays bye